this summer, tried to catch one of the most spectacular and accessible shows in the night sky a meteor shower. We met with NASA meteor shower expert Bill Cook for advice on how to view each of the summer's rains and all the details about the most spectacular. Hint, I definitely did not stop past the summer, so keep reading the best things to come this year. Meteor shower observation requires nothing more than your eyes, you want to take as much sky as possible. Go out into the street in a nice, dark sky, away from the city lights, leaning on your back and looking up. Take your choice of drinks and snacks and stuff like that. Cook planning for at least a couple of hours outdoors at least, it will take about 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the dark, and most showers only reveal their splendor over time. You cannot observe a meteor shower by poking his head through the door and looking for five minutes. Meteor showers fill the sky as the Earth passes through a trail of dust and debris ejected by an asteroid or comet as it revolves around the Sun. As dust and particles collide with the Earth's atmosphere at high speed, they rub against the air particles and become hot, disintegrating in flashes of light. Meteor showers can fill the sky but always travel away from the constellation they are named after which is called the radiant showerhead. Larger shards can create fireballs too. Peak shower is when the earth passes through the heart of the dusty route, and meteors can often be seen for several days before and after that peak. 